Anything else you've been playing, Jason? Uh, yeah, so I randomly picked up a Switch game. Uh, it's super popular. Um, you may have heard of it. It's called Cat Quest. Uh, it was only yeah. Sure. Look at it. It's they so announced cute. a sequel. Uh, the they end. did. Of course they did. Yeah. It's so fitting uh, to talk about it. But uh, I picked it up because it was only a couple bucks, and it's been out on Steam for gosh, two years, three years, whatever. And I actually beat it yesterday before we went to bed. Excellent. Uh, Congrats. Yeah, it's, it's awesome loot. <laughs> I know, dude. Okay, so uh, Matt, you love the game because every sentence is a pun, and I'm, I'm like. Pun? It, there's always cat puns like and yes. they'll they'll throw in puns like that makes sense like um oh like oh, every meowsing here, yeah everything <laughs> here is perfect it'll like, yeah. P-U-R-R. yeah but then they'll, they'll do like random meows like oh that looks meowtastic and i'm like what that's not a... <laughs> but they'll throw it in there and so it, it's super cute but um the gameplay is actually very similar to any real action rpg so like um diablo 3 or something like that if you want to say it like that um but it's really really easy um i think it's easy because um if you look at like uh, he's finding that dragon there, like the characters, the enemies will always call out their attacks. So you'll see a ring that fills that, you know, the attack is coming and then you'll know what, like there's one filling right there and you'll see the direction. So, you know, it's going there. So if you get your timing right, you never should really be afraid to fight anything. Cause you might, you might not ever hit them. Uh, and I think the developers knew that cause there's, I think you can level up above, maybe you can go above 100. I, I beat the game and I was level like 70. But there's some enemies and dungeons that rank like level 200. Wow. You can still like clear, you can still clear them out. It's just because if you you just don't want to get hit. So it's yeah. kind of that type of game. Um, but it, it's really fun and it has a, a sweet kind of kind of sad actual ending. Um, but it, it's it's fun. I mean, if you like cats, I think there's lots of funny cat puns. It's super cute. <laughs> and then if you like a quick action RPG, I mean, it was like five bucks. It was it was a good a good buy. I definitely had a fun a good time playing it. Nice. The cat pitol. Yeah, I yes, yeah. <laughs> I'd seen this game at the top of the Nintendo Switch e e shop charts a couple times, and I was like, "Is this mm-hmm. actually like a good game?" And then watching the the trailer, pulling it for the show, I was like, "Oh, this actually looks pretty good." Yeah, it's it's not bad. Like, there's definitely better games, but I would say in terms of entertaining, fun games, it's solid. Mm-hmm. Everything there works. Yeah, it's, and uh, you can get. You can get some cool like loot that's kind of randomly generated. You can play towards. Do you want to be defensive? More attack? More uh, magic casting? Whatever. All right. Maybe I think it's still on sale now. If you are watching this live, so maybe something to check out. Yep. Yeah, it could be. It's worth five dollars. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and I'm excited for the sequel. Like, I'm I'm definitely gonna play it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I might actually try capitalism. It. Capitalism. <laughs> yes. The Puss planes. Yeah. Would you say it was oh, five bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Five bucks. Awesome. Cool. That's it for me. 